when I found out that this car has one of the most idiotic things ever in a car. This would drive me absolutely crazy. So you're constantly managing your phone charging with your throttle. What's up guys, welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today's car is a Ford Focus. It's the new one and we are driving it and that is 100% the result of a poll we had on our channel. Because Ford asked us if we wanted to drive the new Focus, the 1.5 liter three cylinder turbo engine with 184 horsepower and an ST line. So we asked you guys on our channel uh, to vote if you thought we should drive this because it's not really a car we usually um, drive and we usually film but we had over six and a half thousand votes and 74 percent of you wanted us to drive and film this car so here it is so i've got the specs right here um i'm bringing this leaflet because uh, this car has practically every option. So it's an ST line business. It's Desert Island Blue, which is a beautiful color if you ask me. As I said, 1.5 EcoBoost. Uh, it has 184 horsepower and 240 newton meters. So that's not actually that bad. I mean, that is sort of hot hatch power from a couple of generations ago. Um, so let me just, maybe it's, more maybe it's easier if i just say that it doesn't have a panoramic roof which is an option and it doesn't have leather or part leather seats uh, apart from that it's got pretty much everything i'll i'll list some cool stuff let me see it has a sound deadening windshield which is pretty cool it has headlights with black housing and let me tell you something about these headlights. Do they remind you of a car, a different car in a different class altogether? I think it looks, I think the headlights, it sort of looks like a 720S McLaren. Don't you think with that LED strip that's really narrow and those black housings, it sort of, sort of looks like a 720S, pretty cool. Uh, it has heated seats, it has a heated steering wheel, sports seats um what else leather steering wheel st line st line rear bumper with diffuser st line grill st line front bumper side skirts suspension and it has technology pack winter pack parking pack bno audio system 700 and 675 watts uh, which is pretty cool it has an st line style pack with red accents uh, big rear spoiler red brake calipers so this car has a lot of options and i think you know it shows it looks really cool and the cool thing is about this new focus is that they've got four different versions so uh, this is the st line version so it's the most sporty one as you can see it has very sporty bumpers um, it has a very sporty grille as well. It has some ST line badges like on the side. It has 18 inch wheels, which look pretty cool. And as, as I said, those brake calipers in red. Uh, but you can also get a Focus Active, which is 30 millimeters higher than a standard Focus. And it has uh, silver skid plates and uh, roof rails. It's more like off-roady. Uh, you also have the Vignale, which is the most luxurious version with a lot of chrome and leather, and it's a bit more chic. Uh, the titanium is sort of the midway between everything and then the ST line is the sporty one. And when they started designing this new Focus, it's an all new car. So if they wanted to uh, be able to pass today's safety standards with the, the old, the previous model Focus, uh, they actually had to lengthen the nose by about 100 millimeters and it was it was not a pretty sight. So they started from scratch. It, it's a completely new car. It has a longer wheelbase than before, a wider track. It has all new suspension. It has a more rigid, stiff body. It's also lighter, the body. Um, the chassis is 33 kilos lighter than before. The body is 25 kilos lighter than before. And the, the interior is 17 kilos. 
Uh, altogether, it can mount up to 88 kilos, depending on which version you have. Uh, but that is seriously impressive. And you also see that it's a completely new car. I mean, it has a very flowy uh, front. These A-pillars are much more uh, to the rear, so it has a much nicer, more flowy front because that A-pillar is further back and is more swoopy. Uh, this is the rear spoiler of the ST line. And it also has a dual chrome exhaust on the right. I mean, it's a handsome car, if you ask me. Very handsome. All right, uh, and this is also cool. Very typical Ford. It has these door protectors that jump out if you open the door. So, see, to protect your door. Um, I mean, you could also just watch and make sure that you don't hit it, but okay. Um, another cool thing, don't look at my passcode. This is the Ford Pass Connect app, um, which allows you to see data of your vehicle. So I have, uh, no, not starting it up. Um, this is this car. So I just had to input the VIN into the app. Uh, you can see your fuel level, which we need to fill it up soon. Uh, your your tire pressures, your oil quality, location of your vehicle, and you can also lock it. And you should also be able to start it with this app, but I haven't been able to find it yet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's been around for a while, but... Let's take it for a little drive and I'll show you some more stuff. Okay, um, up until now, everything has been great. It looks great. It's been you know, uh, developed from the ground up. It's a lot lighter. Uh, there are a lot of people who have been developing this car and have tried to make sure that this car is as good as it can be. So, imagine my disappointment slash surprise when I found out that this car has one of the most idiotic things ever in a car, okay? This is super easy to do right and it is really hard to mess it up. So this is my iPhone 10. It has wireless charging and this is the wireless charging dock. So I can put my phone in here and it will start charging. You hear the sound. And then this says, <laughs> this is even more stupid. Wireless charger active. They have forgotten about a C in there. Oh my God, that is ridiculous. But that is not the only problem. All right, let's go for a drive. And you will notice one of two things. We will start driving. And once the problem pops up, I will talk about it. All righty. So, as I said, we've got the 1.5 liter three cylinder and that is something you notice constantly. It's always there buzzing in the background. It has this great, this great sound. It's sort of a, basically it's a downtuned version of the engine in the Fiesta ST, but you know, it has 184 horsepower instead of 200 in the Fiesta. And 240 Nm in place of 300 Nm. And it has 240 newton meters, as I said, instead of 300 in the Fiesta. So it's basically the same engine. And you hear that, you feel that. This is such a nice, energetic little engine. It's it's so enjoyable because it has this, this really irregular sound, which is very quintessential, uneven number of cylinder sound. So sort of a five cylinder, only a little less extreme, I would say. It has a six speed manual gearbox, which is nice as well. Uh, steering feel is incredible. I mean, this car drives 
so well. If you look just at the chassis, at the suspension, the steering, it is magnificent. The braking is really good. I mean, the brake pedal is super twitchy. And I think we have just had our problem. Yeah, okay. So these brakes are super bitey. They are really aggressive. And that means that sometimes you brake a little harder than you want to. But if you go through a corner quite quickly or you brake a little harder, your phone will go you know, to the front when you brake or to the side when you're in a corner and it will stop charging. I mean, isn't that the first thing they were looking at when they were including a wireless charger? Okay, does it stay in, in the proper spot? I mean, just add a little, a little bumper or, an, or something like that on there and it, will, it would have been fixed or just enlarge uh, the area where the charging works. But no, it doesn't work. And when it does work, when it is charging, you, get, you constantly get a notification on your screen that it's not working. And I, I look at my phone and it is working, it is charging. So those are two things that I don't really understand how that happened, you know, along with that C that they are missing over there. All right, let's go to sport mode because we've got three different driving modes, normal, eco and sport um, and that means that the sound gets a little bit more loud into the cabin and your throttle input and everything sharpens up ah my charger is working again So every time you brake hard, like this, the phone stops charging and then starts charging again. So you give it a little throttle and it's in the correct place again. So you're constantly managing your phone charging with your throttle or, or your brake. But listen to this, that little three cylinder. <laughs> oh, it's such a cool sound. And the car feels properly quick as well. I mean. It's not fast like a hot hatch, it's sort of a lukewarm hatchback, a warm hatch. And the chassis, it's a perfect combination with the suspension between uh, sportiness and comfort and daily drivability. I mean, it is judged so well. And it also has that quintessential Ford rear end which means that if you go into a corner way too quickly, you lift off mid-corner, that rear end will rotate. And that's just something that we hardly ever see with hot hatches. I mean, let alone this warm hatch. The zero to 100 km an hour time is 8.3 seconds and the top speed is 225. But that sort of doesn't really do this car justice because it actually feels faster than that. It, it makes you, it, it's sort of reminiscent of those old, old hatches that we had uh, a few generations ago, like I said. It, it drives like that as well. It's not super hard or anything, but it is very playful. It's just very, very enjoyable. And there is an ST coming. I mean, this car is so good already. Uh, that's also one of the jokes within the Ford uh, departments that, the regular Ford guys said, well, the ST guys have got it so easy now because they've got a lighter car, which is more rigid and stiff, uh, with a longer wheelbase, a wider track, and better suspension than before. So, I mean, that new... Okay, there's the notification again. Charging stopped, but it is still charging. Oh. This would drive me absolutely crazy. So rumor has it that the Focus ST will get the 2.3 liter four cylinder turbo engine, uh, like the Focus RS of the previous generation had, instead of what we were expecting, which is this engine with a little more horsepower. And well, 
I'm really, really looking forward to that Focus ST because if this car, this ST line is already this good, with the stock, the standard suspension, it's just been lower 10 millimeters compared to the regular Focus. I mean, that does mean that that ST is going to be incredible. And I'm looking forward to driving that because that Fiesta ST is best in class. It's the most fun. And I'm guessing, considering that this Focus is best in class as well, I mean, you have to you have to compare this to a hot hatch this chassis to be able to sort of get on the same level so that focus ST truly is going to be incredible and well i can't really wait for it so i'm going to end it with that thank you very much for watching guys you can subscribe by clicking the big button right here you can also check out this pov review of a fiesta st or check out this pov reviews playlist we've made a lot so if you enjoyed this one go check it out you can also follow us on social media just search for autotop now thanks guys see you at the next one bye